I'm Allison with Flick Direct, and I'm here with Nick Chef talking about Beautiful Boy. Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing all right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So when you heard they were making this movie, what was your initial reaction? Well, we met the producers about 10 years ago when my book, uh, Tweak, and my dad's book, Beautiful Boy, came out. And um, they, you know, talked to us about combining both of our books to, to make a movie. And... Um, you know, it really was a, a sort of a process of coming to trust all the people involved. And um, we really just fell in love with uh, Jeremy Kleiner and Dee Dee Gardner at Plan B. And then when we met um, Felix von Grunigan, the director, um, that was really when we felt like this was the right person to tell our story. And how did Amazon get involved and how did they help develop the movie? Um, well, you know, the, the movie was kind of all put together, like we had a script and we had actually Steve Carell was already involved um, when we took it to Amazon and um, there's an amazing woman there, uh, Julie Rappaport, who um, really like championed the project and uh, I, you know, it's been amazing working with them because, um, you know, they just have supported the movie so much and they brought us up to Seattle to like screen it for all the, you know, people up there and um, got to meet the richest man in the world, which was very <laughs> weird, but amazing because he was so nice. And uh, yeah, it's, it was, it's been actually really great working with them. In your book, you talk about um, having an infection and almost losing your arm. And you talk about drug dealing and things like that. How accurate is this movie? Because those, those moments were not really in there. Yeah, you know, we really wanted the story to be as kind of, I mean, specific to our family, but also as like universal as mm -hmm. possible. And so we didn't want to do like the traditional sort of drug addiction movie where you just see an addict going down into like the super depths, but we wanted to kind of tell the story where you're seeing both sides, like you're seeing the, the family and how they're sort of coping with the, um, their child's addiction. And then also, you know, from the addict's perspective, like what he's going through, um, but never sort of glamorizing it or, or making it sort of feel familiar. We really wanted to try to do something different. And I think, I think we did. I think you did too. One of the things that I found most interesting in the movie was the science behind the addiction. When you first learned about that, I'm guessing in rehab per yeah. perhaps, was that eye-opening for you? How did that change your perspective on your addiction? It really was eye-opening. I mean, especially that thing about, you know, they talk about how it takes about two years for um, someone who was doing crystal meth brain to kind of get back to normal after they have stopped using. And uh, for me, I kept actually getting like about a year and a half sober and then I would relapse and I couldn't put it together, like why that kept happening. And so once I sort of understood that science, I realized that my brain was still not fully like, you know, kind of healed yet. And so, you know, I always would feel like I was never going to be happy again or I was never going to be able to like feel joy and regular things again. And so I would relapse. But um, when I learned that if I just sort of held on, it would get better. And I trusted that it actually, yeah, it did really change things for me. And I kind of just felt like, all right, I'm just going to try this and just keep, keep, sticking to it and uh, and it's true like well after a couple years like I, I really I could feel the shift and I could feel my brain kind of healing and those feel-good chemicals like <laughs> starting to you know generate again what did you tell Timothy about your story and addiction um, you know when, we, when I met with Timmy he was just so committed to um, telling this or to sort of portraying a, someone who is addicted to drugs not as like a cliche or as like your typical like you know drug addict who's um, you know in the uh, alleyway or whatever like he really wanted to just portray um, a person who becomes addicted to drugs and I think through our friendship I think he really understood that um, you know when I was using drugs it wasn't that I was you know, just this bad person making terrible choices. I really was sick and I had a disease and um, I would put these substances into my body. And then once I did that, a phenomenon of craving would start and I couldn't stop. And, um, you know, I think for him, like understanding that, it, you really see that in his performance. And um, he's so brilliant. I mean, it's really like 
to me, it's one of the most um, realistic and authentic portrayals of a, an addict that I've ever seen. So I, I couldn't kind of be prouder of him, even though, I mean, it's him. I didn't do it, but I, I feel proud of him anyway. Yeah, I thought he and both Steve Carell were fantastic in this film. What do you want people to take away from the film? What do, obviously, it's not your typical drug addict spiraling out of control, but I feel like there's another level to it. Yeah, I mean, well, one is definitely that idea that drug addiction is a disease. It's not a choice. It's not a moral failing. It's a brain disease, and it has to be treated like a disease. Also, I think it's really important us to show that, you know, addiction is an equal opportunity destroyer. It doesn't matter what, you know, socioeconomic background you come from or cultural background. Addiction affects everyone, and it's killing 200 people a day now. And, I mean, it's this, it's unbelievable and uh, you know the last thing I guess is just that there is actually a lot of hope out there and that you know the love that sort of exists within a family that never goes away and no matter how far down you fall as long as there's still life you can always you know pick yourself up and and put the pieces back together again and I, don't know, I feel like if I can do it anybody <laughs> can do it because um, you know it's really uh, amazing what a great life I have now sober, not because of external things, but just inside, you know, and, and it's amazing. And what's your relationship with your, not just your father, but your whole family like? Because I, your, your brother and sister were so young when this happened. So what's that relationship like? It's really amazing. It's really great. I think part of, you know, having to sort of relive our story over and over again has actually really kind of brought us all closer because we've been forced to like deal with all these issues and really talk about everything. Um, my little brother actually um, had just graduated from college when the movie was going into production, and so he got a job as a as a PA on the movie. Um, and then they actually ended up using because he's such a brilliant artist. They used his drawings as the as my drawings in the movie. Um, so that the notebook that um, I'm working on, you know, is actually my little brother's drawings, and he helps kind of design the the drawings in my room and stuff. And so it was amazing, like the fact that we kind of could all come together to, to make this happen just makes it feel all the, all the more kind of meaningful and authentic. Um, and at this point for you, where do you go from here? I mean, is sobriety still a daily struggle? I wouldn't say it's a struggle. I mean, it's definitely a daily sort of practice that I have to participate in, you know, and I do a lot of things to make sure that I stay okay. You know, I'm on, you know, psychiatric medication. I work with a doctor. I do, you know, 12-step stuff. Um, but, you know, I mean, my life now is really, you know, so I've sort of moved on from just addiction stuff. Like, I write for television now, and actually I'm starting to write um, feature films now, which is really fun. Um, but an amazing thing about this movie is uh, because it was sort of a 10-year process and I have kind of moved on a lot, when I finally saw it, um, it, was just, it felt almost like a gift that the filmmakers had given to me because it was such a reminder of like how grateful I should be every day and how close I almost came you know, to dying and also to our family just like falling apart. So I feel like I should like watch it every six months or something and just like be reminded of, of how lucky I am. An annual family event. Yeah, well, at least for me personally, I feel like it'll make me like, I, you know, because it's easy to sweat the small stuff in life and it's a reminder of how far we've come. Well, thank you so much. I thought the film was terrific. And thank you for sharing your story with everyone, oh, really. It yeah. is a pleasure to Thanks meet so you. Much.